Question 7. The photograph shows a man dropping an egg from a pa inside a padded box from a height. He is investigating to see if the padding stops the egg from breaking. State the type of energy the, ga the egg gains as it falls. OK, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? It's got gravitational potential, but it gains kinetic energy. So the type of energy it gains is kinetic energy. It's just a statement. A lot of space for that. The International Space Shuttle. Oh, this is question eight. Question eight. The International Space Station has several solar panels called wings. Okay. In one second, the useful energy is 34.3 kilojoules. <coughs> the energy instant is five times this amount. What is the efficiency? Okay, so the useful energy. Thirty-four point three kilojoules. Thirty-four point three times ten to the three. Doing it a different way. Joules. <coughs> the total energy is five times that. Thirty-four point three times five, or times ten to the three joules. Um, 34.3 times 5 equals 171, which is 171.5 times 10 to the 3 joules. Write down the formula. Efficiency equals useful divided by total which is equal to 34.3 times 10 to the 3 divided by 171.5 times 10 to the 3. Let's get rid of the 10 to the 3s because they cancel out. So I've got 34.3 divided by 171.5. 34.3 divided by 1. 71.5 equals so the efficiency is 0 0.2 question 9 a 60 kilogram student weighs 600 newtons he does a bungee jump the bungee cord becomes straight and starts to stretch when he has fallen 50 metres. Complete the sentence by putting a cross in the box next to your answer. He first stops moving. So he starts here. He goes faster and faster and faster and faster till he gets to 50 metres. Then the bungee starts to slow him down. So he slows, 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 eventually stops and then bounces back up again. So he first stops moving at the bottom of the bungee cord before the energy has disappeared, before the bungee cord starts to stretch. When the bungee cord is stretched the most, it's this one, because it's at the bottom of the bungee cord. OK. Calculate the change in gravitational potential energy as the student falls 50 metres. OK, so we've got another bit of data there, 50 metres. So, give the unit. Don't miss that. Give the unit. OK, so, gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravitational field strength times the height. And again, gravitational field strength is equal to 10 newtons per kilogram. So we're trying to find the change in gravitational potential energy, so we want the change in height. Let's have a look. So we've got a mass of 60 kilograms. We've got G of 10. And we've got a height of... 50 meters. So the change in gravitational potential energy, delta means change, is 60 times 10 times 50. 60 times 10 times 50, which equals 
30,000. 30,000. And the units of energy are joules. So 30,000 joules. You could call that 30 kilojoules. That would have been okay as well. Part C. State at which point the bungee jump, sorry, state at which point in the bungee jump the student has maximum kinetic energy. So he starts, he's going faster and faster and faster and then after 50 meters the length of the bungee rope he starts to slow down. So it's the length of the rope or 50 meters down. Okay. Explain why his maximum kinetic energy is likely to be less than your answer. Okay. This is the standard answer. Energy is lost to the surroundings as. So two marks, two bullet points. One, energy is lost to the surroundings. It can also be lost to the rope. And the obvious one is heat. Energy is lost to the surroundings as heat. Could be noise, could be other things. Okay. Question 10. A pilot begins to land an aircraft. The height of the aircraft decreases from 200 metres above the ground to 100 metres above the ground. OK. What happens to the gravitational potential energy? Well, gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass times gravitational field strength times height. So, um, if you halve the height from 200 to 100, you will halve the gravitational potential. So it's not zero, it does change, it decreases. Uh, I'm very guilty of not putting crosses in these boxes. The velocity of the aircraft remains constant. What happens to the kinetic energy? Well, kinetic energy is equal to 0.5, half, m, v squared. Um, so if the velocity doesn't change, the mass doesn't change, and 0.5 doesn't change, nothing changes, it does not change. Question 11. A wind generator is used as a source of energy for a remote farmhouse. Complete the flow diagram. OK, so the wind is moving. Uh, so to energy transfer, the wind is moving. So the type of energy is kinetic. That makes the generator. Now, what does it mean? It, do you think the generator is turning the movement energy to electrical energy, perhaps? So this is probably electrical. Um, oh, it was the generator spinning. That's a difficult one. In kinetic energy, definitely. Electrical energy, probably. And then lights. So that's OK. OK. Using the Sankey diagram on the right. OK, so we've got 200 joules going in. We've got 60 of light and we've got heat. Calculate amount of heat energy produced by that. OK, so we've got 200 in, 60 goes as light. So uh, 200 minus 60. So the heat energy equals 200 minus 60, which equals 140. Calculate the efficiency. Write down the formula. Efficiency equals useful over total, which is equal to the useful. Presumably, we're using it as a light. So the useful is 60 divided by the total, which is 200. 60 divided by 200 equals, we want a number less than one, and we get a number less than one. 
0.3, no units. A wind power system costs £6,000, it gives £250 every year, calculate back to So the total, how many times 250 is 6,000? So if we take 6,000, we divide it by 250 every year, it'll tell us how many years. So 6,000 divided by 250 equals, it's going to take 24 years. You can do that in your head, you can do it in the calculator, but make sure you write it down.